Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I thought I would do another one of these relaxing crafting and skill videos uh, because I enjoy doing these and people seem to like them because I'm real mellow when I do this. But uh, I want to talk about a little news story from Italy. And what I want to state on this as far as government intervention and laws, I don't really do politics on this channel because this is my international audience on the fitness channel. We have a wide diversity of cultures here. We have a wide diversity of beliefs of how much government should interfere in people's lives or control people's lives for the greater good based upon our individual cultures, our individual nations, our individual ideas. So I'm not going to impose my ideas here so much as just discuss the topic and leave it for all of you to discuss. Um, just because I don't think it's right for me not living in a country to tell people how to run their own country. Just like I don't like it when people come over and tell me on my gun channel uh, how they think Americans should run things or do things with uh, our way of life. It's not right for me to do the same to you guys. So let's just open the topic so that we can actually look at what's going on and the different things going on there and then we can decide for ourselves how we think our individual countries uh, need to be run and, and what laws should be changed here. Because we had a case in Italy where a child recently, uh, the parents of this child were found to be negligent because a grandparent who said, hey, this child is sick, they're giving this child a vegan diet. And yeah, the doctors check it out and this child had nutritional deficiencies as a result of a vegan diet, an 18 month old toddler. Now I've seen vegans come on here and argue this and they are being profoundly ignorant with this. And I know vegans personally, Brittany and I have vegan friends who are strict vegans and one of them, his parents are strict vegans, but they still give their toddler, their child animal products because they have done the research and they know that vegan diets are not generally ideal for very young children. So at least many are intelligent about it. And anyone who wants to come argue that point, uh, who wants to endanger children arguing otherwise, you can go fuck yourself, get off my channel. I'm not in the business of harming children or causing nutritional deficiencies in children over an ideology. So if you want to do that, basically you can go fuck yourself. But that aside, this raises the interesting point because uh, Italy is upset because they've had multiple children in the last few years die from nutritional deficiencies due to vegan diets they're considering changing their laws here uh, that they need to be enforcing stricter laws maybe that when children are found to be deficient in certain minerals or vitamins due to their diets that the parents should be charged with negligence whereas in some countries only have laws to where it's a problem if the child actually gets really sick and is hospitalized or dies now i did another story on that a while back and that's why people came in and tried to argue with me but the medical doctors determined that you were wrong, that that child, in fact, did die due to, uh, there have been cases of this where children have died due to vegan diets, being just too nutritionally deficient for children. That is not actually your ideal diet as a human. It is an ethical stance, not a health stance. People need to understand that difference there. And I have no problem with anyone holding an ethical stance and choosing to do what they choose to do as an adult. But the argument here is should it be legal to impose an unhealthy lifestyle on your children? Now, that also raises another topic, and this is the counter argument that the vegans and vegetarians are making, and it's a valid argument. They Here's a real valid argument. We have an obesity epidemic and people eat tons of refined garbage and trash and feed it to their children. People are getting sick due to terrible diets. The real focus should be on stopping children from eating all this fast food and junk food. That's what a lot of them are arguing. That why are you going to make laws about people just avoiding meat and maybe eating a mostly whole food diet when you have parents who are feeding their children McDonald's? and candy and ice cream all day long. They're feeding them processed, refined, nutritionally deficient crap. Shouldn't that be the bigger evil? Valid point. We know this stuff uh, can cause lifelong harm. We know that it can cause poor health later in life and people are predisposing their children to this. 
And uh, if nor we do other things in most societies that predispose our children to having poor health, they can harm them, like having them smoke cigarettes, letting them drink alcohol. Why aren't we imposing the same laws on foods? I don't know, interesting question. I mean, is there a fundamental difference there? Some would argue, well, people need to eat. They don't have to smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol. Of course, the counter argument could be everyone needs to drink. They don't have to drink alcohol any more than you have to feed your children and then your children have to drink Coca-Cola or to eat McDonald's or chicken McNuggets and french fries. Uh, interesting counter argument because that's, that's always the point that could be made. You don't have to give your children that any more than you have to give them alcohol. The question becomes, is it as dangerous as alcohol? Probably not. Giving your children a fifth, child a fifth of Jack Daniels every day is probably going to be more harmful to them than uh, a McDonald's Crappy Meal. Uh, I think no one would argue that point, I would hope. But again, the point becomes, where do we draw the line at negligence? Where do we draw the line at harm? I don't know. But that is a, a valid point that if you are going to say, hey, you can't put your child on this diet because it might be deficient, then that would probably need to be universally applied. Meaning, um, if you're going to do that and you're going to be fair and balanced, more children are being harmed by eating lots of fast food and junk food than are being harmed by um, ideological based diets like vegan diets. So if you're going to ban one, you may need to legally ban the other. If that's the route that you're going to go, uh, it's only reasonable to remove the one that's doing more overall harm. Uh, well, some of that's addressed by what some of these countries are proposing, like Italy is proposing if they find all these mineral deficiencies in your child's blood work, you're criminally negligent. Well, if you're feeding your child nothing but McDonald's, just like if you're feeding your child nothing but a raw vegan diet, you're very likely to see some mineral deficiencies also. So, that's going to show on their blood work as well. Well, if you're going to do that, then because people aren't teaching proper nutrition in a lot of these countries, if you're going to enforce this in the law, that's also going to require some mandatory changes in education. Mandatory nutritional education for parents. Um, ways to deter people from eating junk food because that's again going to produce, you're going to see more cases of mineral deficiency from people eating really terrible diets than you are from these others, even though I do agree vegan diets are deficient and dangerous for children. Most medical doctors and registered dietitians would agree with that for particularly younger children, toddlers. So, I don't know, how do you handle all of that? Because you are looking at an enormous increase in government oversight. You are looking at an enormous increase in government imposition into our lives. But we're also arguing, because again, generally most of us, like in my society, we oppose that in general. We don't like government oversight. In fact, where I live, we don't even like things like government background checks to buy a firearm. So when you start talking about telling people what they have to feed their children, in my culture, you're going to bristle uh, some feathers. You're going to see people get a little angry. But I guess the argument you have to make and the points you have to consider is, uh, is the greater good of society in this case, and that's what you always have to do. That always has to be weighed out when you start talking about government imposing on people's lives because it's going to eventually it has to invariably you have to have rules in society of some type does the greater good or even the good of the child outweigh that particular lack of government oversight or that that government imposition into people's lives i don't have the answer on this one because again i think we all universally agree i would hope that we agree that it's the individual's choice to be unhealthy if they want. And a grown adult chooses to be unhealthy, that's their choice. Unless you're in a socialized medicine country and the other taxpayers are having to pay their medical bills, in which case it's totally reasonable to completely control every aspect of their lives. But that's in a socialized system. That would be reasonable if you're going to be expected to foot the bill. 
but if they opt themselves out of your healthcare system, I guess it wouldn't be your business. So, uh, interesting arguments to weigh out. I don't have the answers. I can't decide for each individual country and culture what the answer is for this. This is becoming an international problem. This is a health problem. It is a fitness problem of children being given horrifically bad diets. What do we do about it? I don't know. That's going to be for each country and each culture to figure out for themselves, but it is a growing problem. Diets are becoming worse. They are becoming more imbalanced. And the end result is people who are becoming un learning unhealthy lifestyles from a very young age. And that is setting people up to be disadvantaged in a lot of ways because it is setting them up for failure. It's setting them up for poor health without their consent. And uh, that's not always what we want in a, a free society and an equal society. You know, it's, it's not that everyone ends up in the same place, but they at least have a fair fighting chance to make it. So, what is the answer here? I don't know, but we probably do need to make some type of changes. Those changes don't necessarily need to be at the level of restricting what parents can feed their children, but it might be a case of stop being uh, food manufacturers from being helped by government and creating piss poor foods. You know, things like government subsidies going to actually promote more processed junk probably isn't a step in the right direction towards improving everyone's health. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.